All right, so I've set up my account at stripe.com and what I wanna do is I wanna set up a monthly coaching subscription for ongoing monthly reoccurring revenue. So what I wanna do is under billing, invoices are one off. So if I just have a one-time payment, I'll use invoices, but what I really wanna do is create a monthly subscription. One of my clients came to me and said, I wanna meet monthly for a coaching call. And so I wanna set up a subscription to automatically bill them every single month. So under subscriptions, what I wanna do is close this. I'm gonna say create subscription up on the top right. Now right here, what I wanna do is find or add a customer. Now I have my little guy, John Smith, already set up at testattest.com. If you wanna add a new customer, you can click add customer and add his name or her name and his or her email address. In this case, I'm gonna use my guy, Mr. John Smith. Now what is John Smith gonna get? Well, that's the next question. So I have this t-shirt that doesn't actually do anything. So I'm gonna create a new product and I'm gonna call this monthly coaching one to one via Zoom. So in here I can write the description or I can just focus on reoccurring or one off. In this case, since we're setting up a subscription, I wanna set up reoccurring. In this case, this client's gonna be with me every single month. I'm gonna bill them $99 per month for the coaching call. I can choose the billing period between daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, every three months, every six months, but you cannot go past every year. So it has to be within a 365 day period. In this case, since we're meeting monthly, I'm gonna keep it to monthly. And again, you can choose what kind of currency you wanna work with. So if you are working with international clients, you can change it to different currencies based upon where you are located. In this case, I'm in the US, so I'm gonna say USD and keep it there. The other options you also get are a couple different ways of different price descriptions, lookup keys, all these other areas. For me, I don't need to worry about this. This is more of the SaaS or the software as a service charge. In this case, I'm not really worried about the advanced section, so I'll just keep it simple at $99 reoccurring and I'm gonna add the product. Now when you add the product, this can also allow for future clients to also use this reoccurring revenue if you have multiple clients that you wanna bill on a monthly basis. I'm gonna add the product, and like magic, it adds the product one-to-one -one via Zoom, only one quantity, and down here at the very bottom, I can do two things. I can either automatically charge my payment method on file or I can invoice them via email every single month. Now here's the thing, what I will usually do is that I'm gonna email them first to get the credit card on file via secure payment and I can use the Stripe hosted link for an invoice payment page in the invoice email. Keep this one here, don't touch it, everything works just fine. Now I can also add a few other settings if I wanna add a description, add a memo, invoice footer, or collect any extra fields that I want to use. Let's say location or favorite perfume or anything else that you want to know about them that is relevant on a payment system, not on usually a form, for example. And when you're all set to go, you can click on the create subscription and it's then going to send John Smith test at test.com a subscription email to fill out and start working with you on a monthly basis.